Well, September 2nd, and I'm 12 hours into my drive to Montana for the whitetail hunt. I'm tired, I'm ready to be done with this, but uh, excited too. Hopefully by this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be in tree stands sitting over a good view, maybe seeing some big Montana bucks coming out. So, a couple more hours of driving tonight, going to uh, crash in the back of the pickup, drive another probably 10 hours tomorrow, and then start the hunt. So I'm getting excited but I'm ready to get there and be done with this drive, so. It's been an interesting first night. Things were looking really good to start off. Saw like six does, four little bucks, and then another hunter came walking by. He was still hunting. Him and another friend, I don't know where his buddy was, but this, this guy came within. 70 yards me. Well, it's uh, Sunday morning and did some scouting. Early this morning saw a lot of deer and uh, learned some important things, but uh, it's pouring right now and I'm not gonna be able to get out into, well, I'm not gonna get out there for another probably four hours to go set up in a tree stand, so. I mean, it's nap time. It's cold, it's rainy, temperatures drop like 50 degrees over the last three or four days. Um, it's a high of like 49 today, so kind of chilly. So I'm bundled up in the sleeping bag here in the truck and uh, gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna show you on the map here where I was at last night and where I think I need to move to today to, to kind of account for that shift. All this river bottom stuff is where all these deer seem to be bedded. These are alfalfa fields. The deer are feeding out in here. So night number one, I hunted right there, and I spotted a shooter, a number of bucks, somewhere out around here. Had a lot of deer come this way past me, but I thought maybe these bigger bucks were bedded farther down here and coming out. Well, I think I was wrong, because yesterday I shifted, and I hung a stand way down here, hoping those deer were coming out like this. Well, nothing came out over here, everything came out up here and I saw two shooters and many 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 other bucks and I can't tell exactly where they came from but they all merged right around here and then fed out this way so I'm thinking they must be coming out somewhere around here maybe they're just south of where I was at last time so tonight I'm gonna take that stand out of this tree and I'm gonna move it down to somewhere around here and have a west northwest wind blow out hopefully back behind me and be south of where those deer caught to feed. Hopefully I'll catch something coming across here just in front of me. There he is. He didn't go more than probably 80 yards where I shot him. It's a really cool deer right here. 
What an experience coming out here in Montana, first time ever having just drove past this property just twice this summer was all the intel I had and um, then came out here, tried to figure it out and on day number three was able to get it done. I uh, can't tell you how thankful I am to have this opportunity to kill this buck, a beautiful deer. I think he's probably a three year old eight pointer, nice representative buck from the area and uh, man. Quite an adventure. Been living on my truck, been dealing with a lot of rain the last couple days, and today it finally the rain tapered off. I was able to sneak in, hang a stand, and get it done.